Making a half usable operating system is not an easy task. It involves a lot of low-level stuff and is generally quite challenging and time-consuming. People also love gatekeeping and discouraging others from trying it. This is exactly why I picked this hobby up. So, for the past 3 months I've been seriously partaking in making my own operating system. Note that this video gives a lot of good generic information about the x86 architecture, apart from showing my experience with OS Devon. Let's get right into it, shall we? My motive? I honestly got tired of web and desktop development and really wanted to try something more raw and painful. Yeah. Anyways, you usually have some sort of stack when creating software. I went with the least amount of x86 assembly possible and see. Yeah, I don't like assembly much. Instead of writing my own bootloader, I used Grub. So, what was I working with? Absolutely nothing. Remember, we're fully freestanding inside the kernel. I had to communicate with the BIOS and hardware directly. The first thing I went for was printing characters onto the display. This was easy enough using BIOS text mode. I just needed to push the characters I wanted. Now I could print without many issues. I then paired that with a small printf implementation made for embedded systems, wrote a tiny TTY like console which supported scrolling and we were rocking, right? Yeah, no. Afterwards, I used the standard PS2 keyboard in order to scan stuff from the user, with a way to grab information from the user and output information back to the display, I was ready for making a very simple shell. Everything was directly hardcoded into the kernel, but it was plenty useful for just testing and fooling around. By this point, we were around the 1 month mark. Memory management, a topic that angered me for a while. I spent more than a month full of misery trying to understand how physical memory works. I will not go into detail, but I needed to implement a physical memory manager to allocate and free physical blocks, a virtual manager which comes handy in user space program separation, and some sort of heap. The way x86 works Boring. Around this point, I wanted to read and store files on the file system. Reading raw clusters was simple enough with ATA PIO mode. Now came the file system. I chose FAT and more specifically FAT32, since it's the only one actually used nowadays besides XFAT. I implemented FAT32 file reading, deletion, long file name parsing, directory lists, and way more. I tried to follow the standard as closely as I could. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck? Well, one day I felt rather cool and wanted to draw some real stuff onto the display. The easiest and quite admittedly most janky way of plotting pixels is via the VESA BIOS functions. I could draw basic shapes in no time, which also worked on real hardware by the way. This was extra fun to brag about on my Discord. Now that I was managing plotting pixels by myself, instead of letting the BIOS do it, I had to somehow draw actual characters on the display. For that, I used a standard called Scalable Screen Font. It provided a very small header library that allowed me to easily get going with some gorgeous character printing. I could also customize the font and even migrate some of my favorite fonts into my OS. Remember back on the internet? When we open a program, we are creating a process from an executable. Note that Task Manager is a process list with memory information after all. The OS then has to parse the executable, 
load its assembly instructions and variables into virtual memory and of course create the task itself. Now you can compile stuff outside the operating system, put it on the file system and execute it inside. Very cool for me to finally execute something that isn't crammed inside the kernel. I have tried a lot more stuff that didn't succeed, needing more planning and research first. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. Until the next one, stay safe everyone.